So in the previous lecture, I introduced you to the SQLite 3 library, and I showed you how to create a table in your SQLite uh, database, and how to insert data in your database, and how to select data and view them in Python. So we have these four lines, four rows in our uh, database table, and in this lecture, I'll quickly show you how to delete and update data all from your table. So again, I'll create a function. So let me copy this. And we still need to co connect to the database and create a cursor object. And then we need to use the execute method. And in this case, I would like to delete the, uh, the row that has the wine glass. So uh, inside execute, we would write delete from store where item equals I would like to use a question mark placeholder here so a question mark and in brackets we would want the parameter that we would pass to our function so this item here is the one we put inside here item and let me change the name of our function so uh, this is this one don't confuse it with this this is the column of our table and this was the row from the previous function delete this as well and you also want to commit the changes to your database so com commit so that's it and i'd like to comment this out so i don't want to execute the insert function again and I want the view function to be executed after we delete the row. So delete. So which item, uh, the, the row of which item would you want to delete? So the item wine glass. And let's see what will happen. And uh, we got an error, an SQLite 3 error, incorrect number of bindings applied. Uh, line 28, I can see here. Yeah, there is something I often uh, forget. Uh, you need to add a comma here. You'll see that when I teach you how to connect to a PostgreSQL database and how to query data from uh, the PostgreSQL database. Uh, the code is quite similar, but it has some critical changes like this one here. So it can be confusing when you work with different kind of databases. Uh, let's try this out again. And yeah, it seems to be working now. Uh, wine glass is not here. So that's how you delete a row. Let's now add another function for updating data. Update. In this one, I would like to update the quantity of water glasses. So I would want to change this from 10 to 11. Again, you establish a connection to the database, uh, create a cursor object, and then you execute. And here you enter the update SQL command. So update, what you want to update is the store table. And which column do you want to update from the store table? So you want to set the name of the column, uh, which in this case would be quantity. And that would be equal to what, guess what, question mark. And then you say where or let me show you how to update more than one uh, column. So if you wanted more than one column, you'd use a comma and then say price equals another question mark. All right, so we say update store and set quantity and price to this, but uh, which row? So we, you need to specify a conditional here. So um, where item equals to wine glass. Or you can also set this to a question mark, so you have three placeholders here. And then you have the quote to close your uh, SQL statement. And then inside brackets you want to pass the parameters, quantity, and you have the second one is price and item. Uh, when you have more than one parameter here, you don't put a comma at the end, so this ends like this. And you also want to pass these parameters here so they reflect your function input. 
So uh, what we have here is we are updating the store table and we set the value of the quantity column and the, and the price column to these values but only for those rows where the item will be equal to a given value. So we give the, that value to, to this one here and the first two to this one. So you get the idea. Save the script and you, you need to call it here. So let me comment this out and update. So what quantity do you want to pass? 11, let's say. And the price was five, let's say it will go up to six and which item you want to update water glass that's it save your script and try it out and we got these values updated as we expected and that's what I wanted to teach you in this lecture it could be more practical to actually have an ID here so we say quantity and price where the ID is equal to a number so we don't have to pass the entire name which can be confusing or we, it's, it's prone to errors so in that case we would want to change the table here and we would want to add a primary key that auto increments but you'll learn how to do that in the next section of the course. So there I'll show you how to, to make the, the real world program and we will implement that in that program. So these were some trivial examples and you'll get uh, a much better idea in the next section. So next we will jump to PostgreSQL and we'll work with the PsychoPG2 library. Talk to you later.